Hey guys, um, so finally a, a, a haul video. Um, I wanted to do this for a while, but then uh, was always waiting for the next book to come and then for the next one. And this is how everything piled up. It's um, it's six or seven weeks worth of books. Um, and it's definitely way too much stuff, as you can see. So I have new incentives to not buy stuff to stop me from you know getting this one thing that will be maybe out of print or that i will need to complete my collection well that is just plain cheap and um the weird thing is it's not even complete uh, there were like even more books but i i didn't bother to get them out of the shelves again and whatever so it's really a lot of books and um I will talk about them. Let me adjust the the camera. Um, so yes, I will talk about them, but obviously I can't talk about every specific book. It will cost me uh, two hours of my lifetime. And um, since I already spent uh, a lot of time in front of the camera and a lot of money for the comics, I will do this really fast. And if you have any questions, you can put them in the comment field. Um, Batman 66 Volume 2 was cheap, is by Jeff Parker and um, I wanted to check out more by Jeff Parker. I just read something by Jeff Parker that I enjoyed but I forgot what it was, but it was fun. So um, this is uh, Scott Snyder, The Wake. I read the first two issues when they came out, liked them, but never cared to finish it. And um, yeah, I got it for a bargain price. So. Um, I thought, okay, I wanted to read more Scott Snyder. This is the way to do it. Um, Death the Deluxe Edition um, by Neil Gaiman. Um, obviously a part of history by now. And um, I rather got this Deluxe Edition than the um, Absolute because um, I just don't want to buy as many Absolutes. There are a few on my to-buy list, but uh, I don't find them very attractive in relation to the price they um yeah the, the the amount of money you have to spend for them and deluxe is just a better way to go for most stuff um the omega man um this was a really good book by tom king and barnaby but gender um yeah it's a 12 issue series uh by tom king and i already finished it and it was very impressive i have to say i would love to make a video on it um so no big thoughts or spoilers or artwork now but um keep an eye out for that because this is one of the best dc books that i read in a in a good while um I got myself the Batman Incorporated uh, by uh, Morrison and Barnham. I know there is an absolute. Again, I didn't think that I needed. it. Um, I really like Burnham, Burnham's art, but uh, I found it to be overpriced. And I got the, those two volumes, one and two, for very cheap. Um, same here. Um, the new Invincible Iron Man book by Bendis in hardcover for a few euros. And uh, I remember liking the first issue. So, uh, yeah, I went for it. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2. Um, this is the previous run uh, by Dan Slott. And um, I really enjoyed what I've read of Dan Slott's uh, Spider-Man uh, up until now. So, um, yeah, more of that. Then I have a lot of Avenger, Avengers books by Hickman. I almost finished the second Fantastic Four Omnibus uh, by Hickman and it was pretty impressive, I have to say. Um, and I wanted to continue into his Avengers run and I know eventually there will be Omnibuses uh, covering his, um, yeah, by now, legendary mythic saga um, which um, ended in um, Civil Wars, Civil War? No, wrong, Secret Wars. Um, and uh, yeah, so I bought the, the volumes, you know, the oversized hardcovers. This one is already out of print, um, so for, for everyone who didn't get it, look in your comic shop, maybe they still have one for cover price. 
Otherwise, uh, the other volumes you can get for normal or even uh, bargain prices. And I got all of them except for the Time Runs Out um, final volume. And after this volume, um, you can just buy the uh, Secret Wars hardcover. Um, okay, then I also got... Um, to Avengers West Coast uh, omnibuses. Why? Because they're going out of print. Um, I don't know which one is already out of print and which one is on the verge of going out of print. Uh, you can look it up. You just go to Amazon or eBay and see how the prices are. Um, I just got them. I mean, it's probably not the best run of all times, but it's part of my childhood. And uh, if I don't get it now, I will never be able, or I will just never spend uh, money on, on those books, which are over cover price. So, um, yeah, and they were fairly, uh, fairly um, reasonably priced. I got this here, Deathlock, uh, Marvel Masterworks, um, which was cheaper than cover price. Uh, oh, decisively cheaper. Now I see how, t how expensive it's. It originally was. I always liked the character. I used to collect the series from the 90s and um, I wanted to give those more uh, weird characters from the 70s, Mar the Marvel 70s weirdo characters, a closer look and um, Deathhawk is one of them. Um, here I have an essential. Uh, yeah, no, no need to tell you too much about it. The thing, it's just fun stuff. Um, yeah, two more, no, one more um, Avengers by Hickman, oversized, and uh, this is Daredevil End of Days. It's, um, I'm not sure, I think kind of an anthology series with different artists um, uh, taking, um, having one story um, with Daredevil. And um, yeah, I mean, it's like the legendary... Bendis, Mac, Johnson, Sinkiewicz, Mal Malif, so it's like the creme de la creme, and uh, yeah, it was on sale. All right, here I have an essential, this was a freebie, um, something for my son, another X Factor, I want to complete my run on X Factor, so there's that. This was also a freebie, Marvel's Eye of the Camera, I think it's a sequel to Marvel's, um, the legendary uh, book by Busick and um, Alex Ross, I think, right? And uh, yeah, so it, for free, it's probably pretty amazing. Um, Silver Surfer Epic Collection. This is the Silver Surfer of my youth. Uh, this is the Silver Surfer that I read. Um, so I wanted to to have it in a, in a nice collection. So I got this. Uh, Another New Mutants, I have Volume 1 and 2, it's by Seb Walls and Leonard Kirk, or what's his name, whatever. Uh, so this is Volume 3, I really like the first two volumes of this run. All New X-Men by Bendis and Immonen, I have Volumes 2 to 4, uh, I got them super cheap. This one was a bit more expensive, it was 10 euros, the others were really cheap. So now I have a run of 4 uh, volumes and I can start reading it. Uh, Black Panther by Tanahisi Coates. Um, this is a very hyped book right now. Tanahisi Coates is a very well regarded journalist and um, political figure. Um, I'm not completely a fan of his um, of his political en um, engagement, but uh, um, everything that I read by him was very intelligent. So I expect this to be an intelligent superhero comic and I really hope for it. Um, this is Batman Incorporated Volume 2. Um, this is Angela, Queen of Hell. Uh, would, wouldn't have bothered because of the character, but it's uh, written by Marguerite Bennett, who is now kind of a rising star. Um, and um, it has really good reviews online, so... And it was cheap, of course. Uh, same here, another Snyder book. So I'm just buying a lot of Snyder stuff right now. This is Batman, uh, Night of the Olds. Um, I wouldn't have 
gotten a crossover book if not for the price obviously but it's a nice way to sample his writing because I'm still not sure if he's like that great or not um, and another Avenger omnibus it's the volume 2 of the classic Silver Age uh, Avengers I have the first one I got it for cheap and this one was also very cheap so I couldn't resist so yeah that was the Marvel and DC stuff now we come to um, other indie stuff um, by publishers like Dark Horse and Image. Here we have uh, Bandette by Paul Tobin and um, Connie Coover, which is a fun little uh, superhero adventure book. Um, Black Summer by Warren Ellis and Juan Jose Ripe. I love both, love both of them and this was a present for my birthday and I can't wait to read it. It's Avatar so it's probably will be gory. Um, two volumes of Cross that I didn't have and they were on sale. Uh, one is even by Garth Ennis. Um, it's volumes 9 and 10 I think. Um, Gorillas by um, Bram Revel, it's an Ani book with uh, gorillas and people fighting in the forest or something like that in the jungle. I don't know, it looked nice. Uh, not sure that if I showed this already, Godzilla Half Century War by James Stokoe. Uh, James Stokoe is the man, uh, his art is fantastic. There is a hardcover of this which is slightly oversized, but this was cheap, the hardcover wasn't so. Uh, the Sword by the Luna Brothers uh, Volume 1. If I like it, I will probably get the Omnibus. Um, I think there is a soft cover and an out of print uh, hardcover one. Uh, I think I've read it. I've read a few issues of this and I was so so about it. Satellite Sam Volume 3, I really dig Volume 1 and 2. It's my favorite Fraction series. It's funny because I don't really like Fraction and Chaken at all. I, I mean, not at all, but. I'm not such a big fan, but together they crafted this comic that I really enjoy. Um, we Stand on Guard, Bry K. Vaughan um, and Steve Scrooge. Um, this is a fun mini-series of what I've read online about it. And it's a cool hardcover by Image Comics. Alright, on we go. Clone Volume 4, I got this for 1 euro. I read the first two and it was like... Mm, I don't know, the concept is cool, but uh, it was a bit too action-oriented for me and not much not much substance to it, but yeah, probably I will get my number three and just finish the series. Uh, Rush Limit um, is a sci-fi series from Image. I got both, um, the, both the, the first two volumes of it, just to sample it. Um, here I have uh, Proof, which is also an image series, volumes 2 to five, uh, to 6. I'm waiting for the first volume to arrive. I've read two issues online and really liked them. And then I ordered the whole series for really for cheap, but uh, still crazy. Um, yeah, I really hope that it holds up the whole run. Um, the first issues were really fun and I like the art. Um, Okay, um, Witchfinder, um, something out of the Minola verse um, by uh, Kim Newman, Maura McNaugh, I don't know, Dave Stewart, the colorist I know, the other guys I don't, but um, pretty much everything that comes out of the Minola verse is quality and this was um, a few euro for the book. Same here, Conan. Um, I read a, a bit of Conan um, and I got reminded that Conan together with Fantastic Four was uh, my first comic that I ever got. Um, so uh, there is some love inside me for Conan and I've read a little bit here of this black and white essential like edition of the Savage Sword of Conan and it was fun. It was much better than the modern issue by Brian Wood that I read recently. Um, here we have Phonogram, the singles, um, which is the second volume of Phonogram by Karen Gillen and Jamie McKelvey. 
now well known through their image series The Wicked and the Divine uh, and this was their first effort at Vertigo. Trees Volume 2, I liked Volume 1, it's a Warren Ellis book so I will for, of course continue it. Lobster Johnson, another uh, Minolaverse book that I uh, bought for sampling reasons. Um, Jupiter Circle by Mark Millar and um, I don't know, what's his name? Torres, a friend of Torres. So uh, it, it was also like a few euros. And I liked the first Jupiter's, whatever it was. Uh, it was fun. Um, Underground by Jeff Parker and Steve Lieber. Another Jeff Parker book. I told you that I'm, I got interested in his writing. And uh, Head Looper by Image Comics. Um, this looks really, really cool. Um, well, maybe I should show you some of the some something of the art. It's really nice. And um, I was always thinking about getting this in. It's not really single issues. It's like small paperbacks. Uh, but now that everything was collected into one big thing, um, I had to get it. All right. Then we have uh, two creepy books. One is a creepy. Volume 20, collecting a few issues of the legendary horror series. Uh, it's by Dark Horse Comics, it's a nice hardcover. was very cheap. I will never buy this archive editions for um, full price because I just don't care that much. But for a few euros, I will sample them. Here we have um, Creepy Stories by the legendary Stiff Ditko. Again, a book that was on my radar for quite a long time. And now I finally bought it. All right, let's continue with more graphic novel stuff. Um, this is um, Richard Stark's partner, uh, Parker by Darwin Cook. I read one of those, uh, what was the name, the score, and I really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, so I got me the next one. Um, a single match by Oji Suzuki. This is Drawn and Quarterly's more, um, you know, experimental um, archival editions or archival editions of more experimental manga from the 70s. And um, I've read about it. Nobody really seemed to like it because the stories were weird. So I was like, oh, weird stories. I will get it. Um, Petty Theft by Bascar Girard. And this is an ex-library book. So a lot of the stuff that I will show you now are ex-library books that went for a few euros online. And uh, mostly I don't really care. I mean, I, I like to, to have, of course, clean books and fresh books. But, uh, you know, I will never pay, what is it, $25 or maybe I would, I don't know, $25 for a, for a nice hardcover by Jason. But... I, why should I do it if I can have it for four or five euros? Even if, if it's a little bit, you know, messed up. Hmm, who cares? It's just for reading. Um, another graphic novel, Marbles, uh, by Ellen Forney. It's about depression. So, uh, fun times. Um, Ross Chest, I love. Um, she had one of the best releases last year with uh, Why Don't We Talk About Something More Pleasant or something similar like that. She's a cartoonist for The New Yorker or The New York Times. I always know it's for The New Yorker. And um, yeah, I love that book and I had to get more of her. So there's that. This is Frederick Peters, Blue Pills. Frederick Peters is the creator of Ama, a series that I really liked. And I've read some other stuff by him. And he has a weird, surreal, um, somnambulist style, uh, which I really dig. So this is why I got it. Okay, on we go. Here we have uh, A Wrinkle in Time, which um, is a young adult book, I think. And the adaptation is by Hope Larson. And Hope Larson is the new writer of... Um, on Bad Girl right now, which I enjoy very much, so I wanted to check up, out more stuff by her. I got this one. Um, Andre the Giant, 
Um, I finished this already. It's a really good book by... Uh, what's his name? Box Brown? Yes, looks like the name is Box Brown of the, of the cartoonist. And it's a fun little graphic novel. I should maybe do a video on it because it's quite special. It's, um, it's a bio comic, but in, a, in, in an interest, done in an interesting way. Um, normally I'm not so much into bio comics, but this was really good. This is Skim by the Tamaki siblings. Um, I enjoyed this one summer, so um, I'm looking forward to this. Little Nemo by IDW. This is a book by Eric Schenauer and Gabriel Rodriguez. Eric Schenauer, you know from this, uh, from his series at Image, dealing with the Trojan War. I forgot the name right now, but um, I quite enjoyed his series, uh, his historical stuff, and this is supposed to be really good. New stories featuring Little Nemo, and it's a nice hardcover. Um, another book by uh, Des Shaw. I'm a fan. The Unclothed, Unclothed Man, um, a nice hardcover book, which I got very cheap, but okay, it's it's a little bit fucked up, I don't care, I just want to read it. This is some stuff about human rights, abuses in Mexico, and I know someone from Mexico, so um, I was thinking, yeah, why not introduce her uh, to graphic novels? through something that she can relate to. Uh, okay, um, on we go. Carol Swain, Crossing the Empty Quarter and Other Stories. Um, a book by Dark Horse um, Comics. It's a, It looks like a nice graphic novel. I can't show you the inside right now because I'm holding other books, but uh, it, the art is really cool. Um, Celebrated Summer by Charles Forsman. Well, um, can't tell you nothing about it. It's a book by Fantagraphics, so I'm, uh, you know, when you buy brands like Fantagraphics or Drawing Quarterly, you know it has to have some quality uh, for them to release it. This is another book by Paul Tobin and Colin Coover, the same guys who do Bandette. Um, White Rabbits by Drawing Quarterly, can't tell you nothing about it. Um, this is a book by Fanfare Ponymont, which is a, a very exquisite um, publisher. They're doing a lot of experimental manga, some French stuff. And this is um, Korea as view viewed by 12 creators. Uh, I think mainly French and South Korean creators. It's a collaboration. And um, I ha already have, or I also ordered the same thing with uh, Japan. Uh, viewed by 12 creators. Um, I, I really dig those kind of, uh, you know, when different comic cultures meet. Uh, I think it's really interesting to see what they do with that. Uh, another Drawn and Quarterly book by Zetwok, Mr. Zetwok. Sounds very Dutch uh, and the art looks very European. So, uh, yeah, it looks like a nice hardcover. It was very cheap. Um, New York Mon Amour by Jacques Tardy, uh, Benjamin Legrand and Dominique Grange, um, which is a really nice looking book and I always love uh, books about New York. I still haven't been to New York uh, and I'm dreaming of New York since I was a little kid and you know reading Spider-Man and stuff and then seeing all the films so whenever there's a comic about New York I'm I'm on board. Um, this is Carmina Infantino. You probably know him as um, the um, artist on the Flash, the Silver Age Flash. He has um, quite a life story uh, which starts in the Golden Age of comics uh, through Silver Age and into the Bronze Age. And, uh, and since I recently got more interested in DC history, this was a really nice um, way to experience a little bit, you know, the transitions from the Golden Age DC uh, into the more modern stuff. A really good book, uh, also featuring all kinds of nice uh, drawings by Mr. Infantino. <clears throat> Alright, um, 
just a few more left. Black Lung by Chris Wright by Fanta Graphics. Um, a big hardcover, so I couldn't resist. Um, then something that um, I, um, was recommended to me by Earl Grey, The Love Bunglers, Jamie Hernandez. Um, I still haven't really, um, you know, fallen in love with Love and Rockets. I tried a few times. Uh, and uh, now I just jump ahead. This is from further into further into the series, um, and it's a very beautiful book, I have to say. Uh, so uh, yeah, I just gave it a shot. Um, the Sky Over the Louvre. I thought, saw this in a video by Res, and this looks really nice. Or I, I'm not even sure it was this book, but I've heard about the series through her channel. So thanks, Res. And uh, yeah, this is one of the books which uh, the Louvre has done in collaboration with different graphic novelists. Um, so I'm eager to check this out. Uh, ben Kachor, uh, Hand Drying in America. This is pretty, pretty crazy. It's a, it's a big format, but it's really small drawings and a lot of text. Um, I was a bit surprised when I got it. I don't know, just from the title I expected something more pittoresque. Uh, but this is just um, serious storytelling here. So we'll see when I will get to that. Um, this one here I just spoke about. Um, Black Dog by Dave McKean. You can check out the video. I did a review on this book. Really cool book. Um, and lastly, Buck Rogers. Um, this, those are like um, uh, newspaper strips of Buck Rogers. This was very cheap um, because normally I'm not that into um, newspaper strips, but you know, it's part of history and I want to check it out. Um, and Spy vs. Spy, a hardcover edition featuring all colored Spy vs. Spy one-pagers, which is pretty cool, um, if you don't know them. They used to be like the, one of the main attractions in the Mad Magazine. So that was it. Um, like I said, uh, I remember now that I have much more books. Oh, there are here a few more. Right. Let me do those two. Oh my god, it never ends. So, um, this is a really small little book by whom? I don't know. It's a small fun book uh, which Chris Ware really likes. <laughs> I'm just reading the blurb on the back page and it's by Drawing Quarterly. This is everything that I can tell you about it. Um, so I started reading um, uh, House of Secrets by Stephen Siegel and uh, Teddy, Teddy Christensen I think and um, I really enjoyed it, so I was looking what can I get from this uh, pair of creators uh, and uh, I found this little book, Genius is called, but it's very small. Um, it's small, it's soft cover from first second, um, we'll see. Buja's Diary, this is from NBM, um, NBM has really to step up their design game, it's really really badly designed. But it's a more obscure manga, alternative manga um, um, or manhwa, uh, the Korean version of it. And I've read some of those recently and I enjoyed them, so that's why I bought this. Same here, um, it's Mi Jong by Byun Byun Jun. I've read one of uh, her or his books I don't even know the gender and uh, it's not that important uh, I really liked it so I ordered more the the crackle of the frost by Fanta Graphics books just a nice um, hardcover um, also an ex library book uh, temperance by Kathy Malkasian um, another Fanta Graphics book uh, hardcover, really nice format and um, really affordable. Art Schooled by Jamie Coe, um, No Bro Press, looked really nice and I wasn't in art school 
So, um, and I really like Art School Confidential. Um, so, um, this is more of that. True Swamp by John Lewis with an introduction by Ed Brubaker. A really weird one, by the way, where he's like, yeah, he looked up to me all the time and I told him, do it like this and do it like that. And then he did it and he had success. I don't know, something like that. It was really, really weird. Uh, the stories are really crazy. Uh, it's about talking frogs and, and that stuff. And it's out of the Seattle scene, the grunge Seattle scene of the early 90s. It's a cool book. Um, and lastly, now really, this is the last one. Metronome by Veronique Tanaka. And um, it's with an introduction by Jeff Smith. And uh, it's definitely a more experimental kind of book. Oh, no, everything's all right. Uh, it's about time and how time is passing. And uh, it's a silent book. So, uh, yeah, we're finished. Oh my God, it's incredibly uh, overwhelming to have so many books. Oh no, we didn't finish. This is the last one. Flash Gordon and Jungle Gym. Um, this are Flash Gordon, Gordon um, Sunday pages, all, all in color. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, also a cheap um, uh, price. Uh, okay, so now we are done for real. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have questions, you should put them in the comment section. Maybe I have an answer for you, maybe I don't. And um, yeah, if you have any tips how to how I can stop this, also write it in the comments. Until then, uh, have a good life. Bye bye.